Analyzing new property deals, tracking your current portfolio and getting access to quick finance is hard, difficult and very timely. Last year I said goodbye to spreadsheets for good and started using software which is when I discovered Lenlord for the very first time. It does all of this plus helps you manage your tenants, links to your bank accounts and produces beautiful reports to show you all of the data that you need in your property business. If you want to break up with spreadsheets for good and start running your business way more efficiently then let me show you what Lenlord has to offer. And the best bit is that most of the core features are completely free. So let's jump into my three favorite features on Lenlord. All you have to do is go to lenlord.io and create your free account. Firstly, I'm going to explore their property deal analyzers to crunch all of the numbers quicker to analyze and stack up a deal to see whether it's worth viewing in the first place. Secondly, we're going to explore the portfolio analyzer to look at all of the properties that I have put together, the amount of equity that I have in the portfolio and how much the total loan to value is with all the lending versus how much I own in property. And lastly, I want to explore the online digital broker to show you how quick and easy it is to get access to all of the current rates in the market to work out how much a mortgage is going to cost you on a buy to let property. These three key pieces of the puzzle of your property business will help you analyze deals quicker and more efficiently, get access to better finance and manage your whole portfolio with all of the stats that you would ever need. First thing is first, speed and automation is completely everything. Here on the deal analyzer, all you have to do is simply simply type in the address. So if I use this address and look at some of the information, it pulls up everything you need to know. So I know that it's a semi-detached house. I know what the EPC is. I know the total floor area and the average yield for that postcode area. Now, if I take this address and put in some of the example figures for my recent buy to let, I purchased it for 106,000 pounds. The monthly rent is 780 pounds and the refurb cost me 17,000 pounds. The property value now is about, based on the sold comparables from what I can see, £175,000, which is a really healthy return on investment. I know that I paid £3,180 on the stamp duty, and that pretty much sums up the basic costs of this. Even if I'm estimating part of a refurb and trying to understand how to stack a deal that doesn't yet exist, this is a really simple thing to do. As long as you're estimating the 7, 14, 21,000 pound rule where 7,000 pounds is a basic refurb, 14,000 includes having a bathroom and a kitchen or 21 plus if you're looking at a full rewire, full brand new plumbing as well as then bathroom, kitchen and all of the cosmetics on the inside. So I know on this particular deal, the all important figure that I really, really stand by is return on investment. This really helps you understand how much money and return you have on the money that's been invested based on the profit you have. And in the first year, this is due to be 135%, which is incredibly, incredibly healthy. That means that I have made more money than what I put into the project initially because of how hot this market has been this year, which is great. I can also really quickly work out the net annual cash flow monthly. So I know that I'm going to be getting around 400 92 pounds a month after the mortgage costs and that means I have about 5,900 pounds every single year net income after all of those costs and that is going to be reinvested back into the business. I can then tweak some of the loan details so I got a 75% loan to value mortgage which was 79,500 pounds plus then the product fee that I owe the bank and that was over I believe 30 years. And then the most exciting bit of this is that you can look into the future. Property investing is not a short-term strategy. If you're flipping properties yes completely get it but at the same time it's all about holding on to the assets and realizing their value over a longer period of time. So if we made an assumption that if I held the property for 10 years and we had an annual appreciation of around 4%, at the moment it's really crazy, it's about 8 to 9%, but I'm sure that will settle down at some point, possibly factoring in a crash in the next 10 years. That means that the long-term ROI over those 10 years is going to be 418%, which means I've got a really healthy investment here. This would be huge takes to go and view the property, have a look at it, check it out, and think about making an offer to get that all-important deal into your company and into your hands. I am a huge advocate and fan of running your numbers and analyzing deals. I can guarantee many amateur property investors don't do this. They go into viewings completely blind. They don't know what they're bidding on. They don't know what the price should be then ultimately it means that you know when to walk away or when you've got a really really good deal so this is really really important and it's completely free now part two if you're a bit more of an experienced property investor and you have a few properties under your belt then looking at the portfolio manager is a really good way to track many important stats when it comes to your portfolio here on the dashboard you can see that I've listed here three properties now I'm in the process of selling one and buying another so these 
stats aren't quite spot on. Now you can see here the value of all the properties combined together, including the mortgages that are on them, is 1.4 million. That's based on their gross development value. I can see that out of all the mortgages, I've got an outstanding balance of 830,000 pounds. But most importantly, there's a total equity here of 581 thousand pounds which is really really healthy that is the property values combined together minus what i owe back on the mortgages if i repaid all the mortgages that's what's left at the end of it which is really really good it also shows things like the property appreciation over time so how much you've bought them for versus how much it's worth today so four hundred thousand pound of that is purely through appreciation and then you can also look at your loan to value this helps you understand how highly or lowly geared you are in terms of the lending that you have on your portfolio. So the higher this is, the more risky your portfolio is because you're lending and borrowing more money. And then as well, you can also track your entire rental portfolio income for all of the rent that comes in. Now, two of these properties are personally owned by me and obviously we're buying one and selling another. So I've popped in what they would be worth in terms of the rental income to show you and demonstrate what that would be. So I could see here that if I rented all three places out, I'd have a monthly rental income of 4,780 pounds. The monthly mortgages would be £2,300 and the monthly cash flow would be £2,400. So a really good snapshot view of all of those properties in one go. To add a property, all you do is simply click on add, add a property, and then you type in the address and I'll use the same one as an example, which was uh, one, puts in all the information there. I can then put in the date of purchase, the property price, the value, and you can even estimate that as well. The monthly rental income, how it's owned, whether it's through private or a company, the percentage, if there is some kind of split or joint venture deal in there, as well if it's currently tenanted, if it's unencumbered, as well as entering all the lender information. So you'll never need to track and have to remember when the next mortgage is going to be due, when you need to get the next fixed rate on the property. You can even go into more detail further down here and go into things like the utilities to understand which utility companies are looking after these properties. If you've got HMOs, for example, and shared accommodation. And most importantly, you don't want to be forgetting things like electrical and gas safety certificates. So here, you'll always keep track of the certificate you have when it was given and then when it expires so you'll know when to get brand new certificates on each property if you're self-managing or even to chase your estate agents. You can even go as far as looking at the bridging finance. If you're looking to renovate a property and flip it and sell it on or refinance it and hold on to it, you can put in all of the bridging finance information here. You can also put in all of the estate agent information you name it, there is a lot of information you can put into this portfolio page where you do not need to store any other information anywhere else apart from here, which is really, really handy because it's all one single source of truth in a central place. And last but no means least is the really simple, quick and easy online mortgage broker. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can look at getting bridging finance if you're going to be having short term lending to renovate a property and then refinance it onto a proper mortgage. Or if you're just buying a very simple vanilla buy to let, you can also do that through here as well. Now, there are two ways to do it. One is going on to the mortgage search on the left hand side, or if you're using the deal analyzer, click on this button at the top here, which says finance this deal. And then you can choose really, really, really simply between the bridge deal to look at the loan value, the monthly interest rate and the arrangement fee. Very simple, very easy to get to plumbing those numbers into your analysis, even for a really simple quick view. Likewise, if you're looking at just a normal mortgage, you can see here some of the quick and easy rates. So these are two year fixed mortgages. You can look at the interest rate and most importantly, the total cost over those two years of the fixed rate of the mortgage. To get this kind of information through a mortgage broker can often take a few days at minimum because they need to do the full fact find on you. Then they'll need to start doing all of the searching and you typically don't see that full list of lenders that you can start to use for a specific property. So the fact that I can get this in seconds can really help me put me above other people and know that I am eligible to at least put an application in to get lending for this particular property. So I click on TSB here, I can then proceed. And then all I have to do then is pop in all the information onto the form, send it off, and then that whole application will start, which is really simple, really, really easy. And you have the rates right there to see what you're looking and applying for. Likewise, if you click on the mortgage search option, you can choose between an individual or if you're gonna be doing it through a company. You can then look at the application type, which is a purchase, the estimated property value, the monthly rent, the required loan and loan to value, if it's a HMO or not, how many years you want, whether it's fixed, how many years it's gonna be fixed for, and then whether it's going to be interest only or a mixed repayment and capital and interest mortgage. So here, I can see straight away a full list of all of the good mortgages that are here, the initial rate, the monthly repayments off the back of that, the fees and the total cost over those two years. This is 
incredibly useful to analyze your deals with and then start applying and even get 39 pounds cash back as well. All you have to do is head over to lendlord.io and you can create an account for free and use all of this from day one. It's super helpful. I highly, highly recommend starting to think about systemizing and automating your business because it's one way to be more professional, operate better and store information rather than trying to find it all in different spreadsheets. This will put you ahead miles above the rest of the competition, especially in this really hot market. If you want to learn more about bridging finance and Lendlord, then all you have to do is click on this video here, which explores the ultimate guide to bridging finance and how Lendlord can help you find bridging loans through their online tool. So check this out here and I will see you in the next video.